Well, hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Rubber Plays Minecraft. Welcome back, welcome back. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we are gonna finally finish the house and we are gonna go to the nether. That's why I've been uh, preparing a little bit. Let, let me just uh, show you what I got. Okay. We are gonna put the obsidian in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And yeah, we're gonna put a, a wall here. I'm gonna put the water there. And the obsidian over there, taking the water away. Okay, and we're gonna combine it flint and steel. An iron ingot and a flint to make uh, this flint and steel. We can uh, start flames with it. And... Ta-da! <laughs> we lit our nether portal. It's, uh, it's about time to go in. I made it um, down here because it makes noise. Before we go anywhere, let's make some equipment. Shield. Boots. Nice. Yes. We could make a sword as well. It might come in handy. I'm not sure if we need anything else, I doubt we do. But that will be it. Making a crafting table to take with us. to make this prettier but we're going to the nether first and then uh, we're gonna see what we can <laughs> we can bring look at that we're all geared up yeah okay ready or not nether we come in now I really hope it's not gonna be a a bad spawn Ooh, this is amazing. This is the best possible spawn. It's a peaceful area. That looks like a creeper exploded. <laughs> okay, so we are in a warped forest. There's lava coming out of the ceiling. Oh, and it's a basalt delta <clears throat> exactly next to us. This is amazing. It's gonna be, it's gonna be good. We are gonna build a, a small house over here.
Okay, we have a nice uh, little house with too many doors, but it's it's fine because this uh, biome over here should be safe. We are uh, on the edge of a basalt delta, though, and that it's not safe. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm gonna collect a little bit of uh, resources around here and. Uh, Probably head back to the overworld where uh, we're not gonna explode too much because it's very dangerous and uh, we're gonna come back when we're a bit more equipped. But I wanna get some materials in order to finish building back home, so let's get to work. Okay, we got an inventory full of random stuff, <laughs> that was uh, nice, and I killed an ender, dra en ender dragon, <laughs> I, kill an I killed an enderman, he unfortunately picked a fight, let's try and kill a few more. Oh, this is amazing. He dropped it. Yes, 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 yes. We can... Uh... Let me clear some inventory. But this is crazy good. What is it? This warped nylium. We can grow the mushrooms on top of it back in the overworld. So uh, <laughs> I did not expect to be this lucky. But that Enderman happened to help us out. Right. Let me think about what materials we're gonna use and uh, how I uh, how I want to finish the house because it doesn't look very good at the moment. But uh, what I have in mind is gonna be prettier I mean we're gonna have to see uh, I'll uh, see you guys in a sec Yes, 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 we have done a little building here, but it's not finished. I'm, I'm gonna fix everything around. It's uh, still a work in progress, I'm, uh, I'm still not done with the constructions. But I'm very pleased with this, the under, underneath of this. Oh, come on. 
I'm gonna leave that there because I'm uh, hopping back up sometimes. But we uh, have a pillar. I need to take this down. And yeah, there's a few things that we need to fix. But I'm gonna extend the building to come in an L shape like this. Maybe all the way to here or so. I think where the tip of that hill is over there. Like right here. And uh, it's gonna be interesting. We're gonna have like a middle section here in between the buildings and you can build a tree or something. Uh, I can change the roof because I'm, I'm, I'm purposely not filming the roof because I'm not proud of it. I was experimenting with it and uh, I'll give you a quick sneak peek. It's horrible. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we are gonna keep working on this and I'll be back with when we have some uh, better developments. Whoop. And we are done, more or less. I uh, I made a, a roof. It's not the best, but uh, I want to change the oak because it's not pretty. But I didn't have enough materials of other other stuff, so it's gonna be it's gonna be that for now. I think we're gonna make it in copper. But uh, I had enough building the house. It's time to make some farms and uh, set up the villager trading hall. We're gonna we're gonna make a few stalls in here. Okay, new plan. We're making a a pen for animals. Okay. That's one side. Fence gates. One, two, three. Bam, bam, bam. Perfect. Let's sleep. And we're gonna go gather some animals. Off we go. We need some. Ow. We need some animals to bring back home come on, we're almost there ow ok, I'm going for the cows yes, look at that Yes, we're done. Look at that. We got cows, chickens, sheep and pig. And we got two llamas up there. <laughs> but we need, still need to breed them a little bit. That said, I would like to make a farm for these. There's a few farms that you can make to automate it, everything. Even this you can automate. But you need a fox. Um, right, I put some redstone and some rails here. And also I made some hoppers. And we also need some pistons. 
There we go. Iron, redstone, wood and cobblestone. Now, where do we make the farm? Stop that. Okay. Now. Boom, boom, boom. Put the water there. Okay. Two rails there, and then two at the Actually, we can make all of them uh, powered rails, it's only four. A lever would be better. Uh huh. Uh, we need a minecart. One minecart, and then we make a hopper minecart. Close that. Put a dirt over there because we don't need it. And a power drill on top of that. And the button goes there. They need to be powered. And then we put the minecart mine hopper over there. Now, um, We're going to cover that, because we don't need it. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna make a crafting table because I don't wanna go all the way back there. Okay, now we need the pistons. Um, missing wood. Okay. Four pistons. We got four blocks here. So, four pistons. One, two, oh. three, four. Ha, <laughs> no. And that one went in the minecart. Okay, they, they go up there. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Now we need one observer. For that we need quartz. It should be good to make four. Like so. Uh, one one further ahead okay like that 
then behind here. We could leave those, but I wanna. I wanna put some uh, other blocks so that I would know it's part of a build. Okay, and then we put a redstone line on, on top or across um, the planks over there, just behind the observers. There we go. <laughs> That's it. We don't need nothing else. I'm gonna take these off. Three. Okay, so whenever. Whenever any of these grow, the. Um, the observer will see in front of them, no matter where they grow, they will uh, detect it. And that will make the pistons down below fire. And when they when they do, oh come on! Are you serious? There we go. <laughs> Yeah, when they do, they will break the sugar cane and the minecarts uh, will uh, collect everything from down below. And that's pretty much it. Sugar cane is collected automatically with this. We got 20. They should uh, increase with time. Okay, the next one I want to do... I'll put it over here. So. We're gonna put a chest with the hopper going inside of it. I wanna take that block there. <laughs> okay, hopper going inside. We got one chest over here. Okay, we're gonna get this string and make a bow. So, not the dropper, the dispenser. It's the only difference is the bow. Okay, I came back with some glass. Because uh, that's not working without. I mean, it does, but it's annoying. Okay, over there. We should have the dispenser. Come on. Just like that. Now, in this, we have a, a hopper going in, supplying it with eggs. Um, I'm gonna build the walls up here. We need a, one half slab. One half slab goes there, and then the lava goes on top, and it will uh, leave a gap over there, just like that. Now, on top here, we're gonna cover it. Okay, and we need a, a carpet. A sheep. Okay, carpets. Right, we put a carpet there, and then 
We're gonna put chickens in inside here. Just like that, so they cannot escape. Yes. Come on. Nice. Now, we breed them some more. Okay. They shouldn't be able to leave or go anywhere and whenever they make an egg it will get uh, sent down here rest on torches okay 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 rest on torches make a few of them and then one comparator Two repeaters. We put a comparator here so whenever there's something inside that will turn red. If I take it out, see it, it, it goes out. So if you have something inside, it turns red. Ah, I see. I see, I see. I'm uh, messing it up. Yeah, we need a comparator over here. Aha! Uh -huh. And when that grows, he should uh, see. It it dispenses the egg when whenever it gets in there. I'm just putting one egg, and it's fired automatically. We have a few chickens over there. Whenever they grow up, they will touch the lava. And they will die and get burned uh, and get in the in the chest over there. And that way we have uh, cooked chicken all the time. Oh. Another thing we can do it's a crusher. The way um, Minecraft works, wait a second. So, we are gonna put a chest there. Have a hopper go inside it. Just like that. Then I'm gonna put a glass because uh, if you put a glass, you can open the chest. If you put a a solid block, you cannot open the chest. So with the glass, you can open the chest underneath it through the glass. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> and there we go. Come on. As many as you can. Come on. One more. Okay, we're gonna take away the water. Just for a little bit. To put the fence up there. Because after we put the fence, they will stop uh, bobbing up, up and down. And um, again, the way Mark Minecraft works, we got entity cramming. Uh, whenever there's too many entities in one uh, location, they will die, just like that. Did you see? And 
now when we feed them they will multiply and the game will kill the um, the adults not the babies and we can get the XP and the leather and the meat are collected down here after they die so that will be nice I'm curious if we can uh, catch one when it grows I'm gonna I'm gonna stay here and record it it's not growing is it the minecart is moving that's good still haven't seen the chicken grow oh it just happened we got a feather no meat unfortunately that time Another one. Cooked chicken. See? It's uh, slow, but we get cooked chicken feathers and it's automatic. Automatic. We don't need to do anything. Alright, we're gonna do this over here. Yeah, over here, why not? I'm gonna put that there. Hopper going inside it. Another hopper going inside that hopper, and another one going inside that one. We're gonna put a composter on top of each, and then another hopper going inside each one. We need chests above them. Okay, so we put all the materials in there. They will automatically create bone meal and uh, place it in here. That way, whenever we have um, an excess of uh, plant materials, we can dump them in there and they will create bone meal, which we can use to grow other, other plants. And that is pretty much it, I guess, with, uh, with all the farms that we I'm not done with the iron farm over there, but we're gonna we're gonna finish it at some other time. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll end it here for this episode. It's been uh, it's been a very demanding <laughs> adventure, <laughs> but we are sorted with a few farms now, and we are gonna make a few more. And hopefully soon, I wanna go find the the fortress and go to the end maybe we're gonna find an elytra that will be amazing but that will be it for this episode thank you so much for watching i really hope you're enjoying and if you do please consider giving a like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next episode until then all the best